Have you ever had the following situation? You meet someone, let's say at a networking event, can be anywhere really, and they ask you what you do, you tell them, give them a little pitch, and they're interested. And I said like, hey, we should meet up. And you, and you say, yes, that would be great because you think that could be a potential client. Now, you meet up with them uh, at a cafe or something to um, discuss you know, how we could work together, or discuss um, a little bit more about what they're interested in, right? Uh, it takes you about 20 minutes to drive to the cafe. You have about an hour session with that person and about 20 minutes to um, come back. And, you know, considering that you probably need about 10 minutes each side to get ready to leave and to get back into work probably takes you about two hours. Now in that meeting, you um, don't really have a structure, you don't really, have, have, don't really know how to run that meeting effectively and it turns out that they are you know, a bit more interested but still haven't really made the decision. So you agree to have another meeting and you spend another two hours driving there with your own car, using your own fuel, and you may even do that a third time to finally then have him say like, oh, actually, it's not my cup of tea. What do you have, what do you have to offer? Now that's six hours you just spent for absolutely nothing. Or even if you made the sale at the end because you put so much effort in, you just spend six hours of your valuable time to get that one client, which may be worth, I don't know, a few hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand. But that's six hours you have spent without actually having, de having delivered anything for the money you just got from that client or that client agreed to pay you. Now that's a very, very exhausting and frustrating way of getting new clients. Now I know I have done it, many, many people out there have done it, many people, people still do it, and it's yeah, the, one of the most frustrating things because it doesn't always turn into a client. So one of your focuses should be like, how can you change that? How can you create pre-sold customers and only talk to those people? Now, what are pre-sold customers? Pre-sold customers is what we trying to create with our online marketing systems, right? And you can do it yourself. So find a way on how to educate and nurture your audience with the things that you uh, are good at, right? So for instance, I do these videos. Uh, you can download our Wellnesspreneur Growth Roadmap, which shows you how to double your sales in 6 to 12 months and get two high-paying clients within 60 days. Awesome, right? So with those type of, um, with those pieces of content, you can really get a an, an grasp and experience, also with those videos uh, of mine, you can really get an, an idea about what it would be like to work with me, what it would be like to um, um, get all this information that I share bit by bit in a structured, step-by-step -step way, me holding your hand, moving you along, keeping you accountable, kicking your butt if I need to, right? So you get a bit of an idea on how to do that. Now, if I talk to you then, I've, when you have been through that journey, I say you are a pre-sold customer because you already have a desire to, to work with me. Now, it's then it's just about how can we make it work financially or time-wise or whatever the hurdle is that you have and that holds you back of not working with me. Now, that's the same with you, right? So if you have only talked to those people who've been through the process, you cut out those six hours. Well, that's a hell of a lot of time to get new prospects in. And the conversation you have with people is so much more fun. Like it's a real joy because no matter if they actually end up working with you, it doesn't really matter because you know you haven't spent those six hours and that makes you feel really good about the conversation and the conversation runs very differently and much more fun because those people you talk to already know what you are like, how you do things, and what you exactly do, what you stand for and so on. So it's really just a clarity conversation you have with those um, type of prospects, those pre-sold customers and, and not like a 
a sales call where you have to convince someone. So always think about how can you create pre-sold customers and only talk to those type of people. Let me know in the comments as always, what do you think about that? Engage, shoot your uh, questions through, share with someone you think um, um, wastes a lot of time chasing clients and making the next sale and see um, what they get out of that and would be very much appreciated if you share it with those. As always, also join our Influential Vernon Facebook group. Talk to you soon.